Happy Thursday, everybody. This is Innocent from Photo Booth International. Hope everybody's having a great week. As you can see, I'm in beautiful Belize, having a great time with my family. And uh, let me first give a shout out to my mentors, Josh and Jasmine Pather. Um, the life that you see that I'm doing is because of what they have taught me and they're under their mentorship. So shout out to them. Um, for photo booth boss absolutely changed my life if you're on the fence about where you want to buy a photo booth at, you need to buy from PBI and if you haven't watched photo booth boss you'll know why um, coming from corporate America I've never had this much free time to travel like this invest like I'm doing and basically just having the free time to spend with my family my wife my kids um, go visit my mom, my dad, go hunting. So definitely want to get in um, if, if, you, if you're ready to get into the photo booth business. So one thing I wanted to talk to everyone today is the importance of, or what's helped my business is white labeling and subbing out. And one of the first things I think about is building that relationship, right, with other photo booth owners. Whereas you may see someone as competition they can actually be very helpful to your business and I've proven that and in the nine last nine months I've made over thousands of dollars I can't give you the exact amount um, to help me make that money while I was already booked so it's basically you calling another photo booth owner talking to them negotiating on a price that's a win-win situation um, I own a one Astro and I own two small Chloe's so when I'm booked out I'll go down my list and one thing I want to share with you is the last two weeks <clears throat> uh, Two weeks ago I cleared a gross 7600 and this past week I did 5100 a total of about 21 events uh, Some were some small DJs some were all digital with the Chloe for graduations, but at the end of the day um, I was able to do those events and make something which is better than nothing. Um, I hope that makes sense. It's a, it's a lot of networking I did with DJs. You know, Josh has a video whenever he travels, he's always like on a balcony or some foreign country and he always gives some nuggets on, you know, what you need to do to, for your business to get to that next level. And the one that really got me was the one he said about um, talking to other vendors when you go to an event it's not just you setting up um, looking around at everybody waiting for it to get started you get there early you need to get started you make your content shoot your video next thing you need to be doing is getting uh, business cards from other owners that are there photographers DJs um, the event planner uh, decorators and the mosquitoes are bad here <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely building that relationship, following up with a phone call and an email. Um, it's important you do that. I've got about three or four that reach out to me. And out of all the hundred that I've spoken to and networked with, those only few that call me for events. So it's important that it's a numbers game. And the more consistent you are, the better your results are gonna be. All right, so I hope that helps. Definitely please like and comment uh, below. Let us know how that's working out for you. We definitely love to hear from you. And uh, we'd love to bring more people out here to places like this. Um, if you remember last year, uh, Josh and I went to Cabo, Mexico City. Um, before that, I took my wife to Mexico City. And, oh, excuse me, not Mexico City, but um, Cancun and, uh, and Jamaica. So we want to see more people doing 10xing their photo booth business getting out there and uh, we want to maybe show you on the next video on how you did it and you can explain um, that to somebody else all right 